start with what we can figure out and what we know, which is first identifying our u. So once we go ahead and take a look at our um, function, whenever, guys, again, you know, there's some things that kind of make us kind of some are obvious things. When we're looking at square roots or roots, when we're looking at trigonometry or when we're looking at binomials raised to a power, that gives us what our u is, which is going to be x cubed plus 1. Then we just do what our du dx is, which is going to equal 3x squared. Multiply the dx on both sides. So you could say du is equal to 3x squared dx. Now. Usually, these are not going to be on the same side, but or I mean on the same point. But you can see that we do have a du, right? We have 3x squared and dx. And then if there was any other constant, any other difference in, 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 uh, in, our, in our multiples, we know that we could take that number out, right? We could multiply that out, correct? We kind of talked about that. Like um, We would just have to thing, we'll, and we'll do more examples of those in a second. Uh, the next thing, though, is we want to try our our new upper and lower bound. Actually, so let's actually forget about this. Let's do that in a second. So now I could rewrite this as u to the fourth du. But we don't want to use our upper bounds from x. We need to use our upper bounds from u. So I'll do u of 1, which is 1 cubed plus 1, which is 2. And I'll do u of 0, which is 0 cubed plus 1, which is 1. So do you see how I changed my upper and lower bounds now in this case? Yes? All right. So now we just need to integrate this. Well, that becomes u to the fifth divided by 5. Integrate from 2 to 1. So that's 2 to the fifth power. Actually, let's rewrite that as 1 fifth times 2 to the fifth power minus 1 to the fifth power. Well, 2 to the fifth power is going to be, so what I did is I just rewrote that as 1 fifth times u to the fifth. Yeah. No, you, what do you mean? I already plugged in you. No, no, guys, you're confusing with what we did last class period. We're not, pl we're not plugging that back in. We're, we're, def we're defining this integral. We're, plugging, we're taking this integral and we're defining it for its values. We already took an account u by finding our new endpoints. Let me, I'll finish this and then I'll uh, explain what I'm talking about. So in this case, I have 1 fifth times 32 minus 1 which is 31 over 5. Okay? Now, what I think you're, what you, some of you 